Hello everyone. So in this video, I will explain to you how tax is calculated under a different system. Uh, so we work on two, yeah, flat rate and progressive rate. Flat rate, like the name imply, suggests that the same rate is applied regardless of the amount to be taxed. And our sale tax is flat rate. For example, if you pay like $100 for a book, the tax rate is 6%. Now, if you pay $1,000 for a laptop, the tax rate is still 6%. And in this case, the tax you pay is 6% multiplied by 100,000, I mean, 1,000 equal to $60. Now, even if you pay like a 10,000 for 10 laptops, the tax rate is still 6% and the amount of tax is 6% multiplied by 10,000 equal to $600. So you can see that the way we calculate tax under that flat system is very, very clear and very straightforward. The second system we have is progressive tax rate. Uh, our income or corporate income tax is progressive. The idea behind progressive tax rate is that higher incomes get tax at higher percentage than lower incomes. Specific tax rate applied to the dollar fall in certain range. And specifically, the current system uses margins, also known as tax brackets, or range of income. So I will work with you on some example of uh, progressive tax in a few seconds. Okay, so let's look at the corporate tax rate bracket in Table 7. You see that there are several different tax rates, 15, 25, 34, 35% associated with different income level, right? And on top of that, you, your firm may have to pay additional surtax, like 5% or 3% if uh, your income falling here or falling there. So let me explain how the tax is calculated through a few uh, examples. First of all, assuming that your company has income of, say, $49,000. To help us better imagine how things go, you know, I spread the tax schedule horizontally. So if your income is from 0 to 50000 the tax rate is 15%. Anything above 50,000 up to uh, 75,000, your tax rate is 25%. Now, if you, uh, your company do, does pretty good, you have income more than 75,000, so you have to pay 34% for those above $75,000 and up to $10 million. And anything above $10 million, you have to pay 35% for that. Now, in the first situation, our income is 49000 right? So the first step is to identify where it falls in those brackets. Definitely, 49000 is between 0 and 50, so you only have to worry about the tax rate of 15%. Your total tax equal to 49000 multiplied by 15%, and it is... 73.50 and it is your total tax rate. You don't have any dollar or any income for in that range, so don't have to worry about 25, 34, 35. Okay, very simple. A second scenario, if you your company has income of 65,000, so definitely 65 is above 50,000, so you have to worry about this bracket. 65 for in that range from 50 to 75, so you have to worry about this bracket as well. Uh, you don't have anything more than 75, so you don't have to worry about the upper bracket of 34 and 35. So let's look at how we calculate it. Out of, out of the 65,000, the first 50,000 for in the very first bracket, so you have to pay 15% for the first $50,000. And uh, the tax amount is 15% multiplied by uh, 50,000 equal to 75,000. 
uh, no, I'm sorry, equal to uh, 7,500. Okay. Now we already uh, paid for the first fifty thousand dollar. The rest we haven't paid the tax yet is fifteen thousand. Uh, okay, where the fifteen thousand comes from? Okay. It equal to our total income of sixty five minus whatever we have we already paid for. So we already paid for fifty. The rest, 15, we have to deal with. And it fall in the second bracket. Now, how can we get the tax number? Very simple. We take 15,000 multiplied by 25%. It gives us uh, 3750. So our to total tax equal to 7,500 plus 3750. And... Sure enough, it is 11,250. So you see, uh, you don't have to, I mean, it is 100% wrong if you simply take the total earning of 65 and multiply by the highest uh, tax rate applicable to you. Sure enough, 65 multiplied by 25% is totally wrong. Okay, then we have to follow step by step like what we did. Finally, let's look at the situation where our income is 210. So over here, 210 fall into the range of 75 to 10 million, right? So it means you have to worry about that bracket. You have to worry about this bracket and the third bracket as well. So as we discussed before, out of the 210, the first 50,000 fall in the first bracket and you have to pay 15% tax and therefore the amount of tax paid is 50,000 multiplied by 15% is uh, 7,500. The next <laughs> bracket of 25%, how much we have to pay, uh, I mean, how much income fall in this range? We need to get the income for in this range in order to get the amount of tax you have to pay for that uh, for that bracket, right? So the amount for in this range equal to the maximum amount of seventy five thousand minus the maximum amount of previous bracket. So you pay for fifty thousand here. The next twenty five thousand you have to pay if at the rate of 25 percent yeah because your your income is well above 55 uh, 75 thousand you know it's somewhere here so it means you have to pay for the whole 25 thousand for in that second bracket and the whole amount for in that range is 25 thousand yeah and the rate applies 25%, so you take 25%, multiply by 25,000, you have 65.50. It is tax you have to pay for that 25,000. So slow down a little bit. We pay 50 here, we pay 25 here. Uh, how much we haven't paid? We haven't paid yet. You know, the total is 210, we pay 50 here, 25 there. So the rest equal to 210 minus 50 minus 25, and you do the math. I'm pretty sure that you have you haven't paid for the rest 135,000, and sure enough, the 135,000 fall in to this bracket, and the rate apply is 34 percent. Okay, why? Uh, that number for in that bracket, but not the about 10 million. Very simple. Your earning is 210, it, it is more than 75, and it is less than 10 million. That is why we have the 34%. So now, how much tax you have to pay for the rest? 135,000. Very simple. You take 135, multiply by 34%. So here we go. The tax you have to pay is forty-five thousand nine hundred. Yep. So one 
two, three, and oh by the way, you know what? Uh, because your income is two hundred, which is above one hundred thousand and and below three thirty five thousand, so you have to pay five percent surtax. Does it mean that you have to pay uh, five percent for the whole two ten? Definitely not. You only have to pay five percent for the amount above hundred thousand. Right above hundred thousand. So from your income of two ten, you take two ten minus hundred thousand. So you have here one hundred and ten thousand dollar subject to the five percent surtax. So the amount surtax equal to one ten multiplied by five percent. We have it, uh, fifty five hundred. So our total tax equal to these plus these plus these plus these. Four factor, right? Okay, let me do it again. These plus sixty two fifty plus forty five nine hundred plus fifty five hundred equal to sixty five thousand one fifty. So it is a total tax you have to pay, including two uh, regular tax portion and the sur tax portion. So I hope uh, it helped you understand better how tax is calculated. Thank you.